good morning. I'm on a bit of a mission today because my lovely cousin Anna has got a load of hay bales for me and she said she's going to be delivering them tomorrow with her lovely husband Chris. You might know Anna and Chris because I posted their video that me and Simon recorded for them. So if you haven't seen that, go and check it out, it's beautiful. So, because they're coming tomorrow and because we've been getting out tons and tons and tons of ragwort and we're still getting out the ragwort, it has completely thrown our schedule of building the hay barn that we were, well, hay barn, hay lean to, um, that we were gonna be building. So, I'm going to have to stack them up in the stable that Hope managed to trash last week. So, in order to do that, I need pallets. I am completely broke, and so I can't go and buy pallets. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can just drive around with my car, because Bertha needs an MOT, and see if I can find some. So, let's go and have a look. I'm always seeing pallets when I'm driving around, and I'm just thinking, well, if I could just find some, they're going to be free. I'm going to be sorting out um, getting rid of these pallets for people that clearly don't want them because they just stack them up the side of their house. So two birds, one stone. And well, this is how you do things on a budget. that's quite a good haul. Oh you two are not going to be very happy. Mm -hmm. These are not going to be very happy because in order for me to store this hay I'm gonna have to take over their favourite stable. It's only temporary, temporary until we can come up with some kind of shelter for the hay. Oh, thank you, Hope. That's beautiful. And uh, 
fix the stable that they have indeed trashed. So there's that as well. <laughs> oh, and kisses from you, Drew. <laughs> Right, so I have moved these two into the other side. They're not very happy about it because I've shut them in, but it's only going to be for oh, about an hour and a half or so. So the next thing to do is to get the pallets in here on the floor that'll help the air circulate and stop it being, stop it lying on the floor basically and rotting and oh, I haven't shut Dream in there because Hope can be quite nasty to him sometimes because she gets a bit irritated by him. <sighs> Speak of the devil. So he's just going to be wandering around plus he's so cute. And I know he's going to drive everyone mad when we're moving the hay, but he's so cute, bless him. I'm also going to have to put some kind of tarp or something up against here, between there and there, so that they can't put their heads through and eat the hay that's going to be all in here. And there's no top door on there and well this is the part of the stable that they've completely dismantled and trashed at least it will keep them out of here for for a, a time so we can get it repaired before we let them back in and yeah i'll have to put a tarp awning at the top because there is no top door and they will try and force the way in especially that hope see what i mean Mmm, not happy. Not happy, are you? Hey, don't want to be in there. Don't like that side. Isn't it funny how they have their own little quirks of their favourite stables and their favourite shelters and... <sighs> Bless her, she's a character. So that's all of the pallets in we've just got to wait for the hay to come now it should be here any minute i've got two very moody ponies toby's doing a lot of stamping because he does not like the door being shut plus that's not their favorite side it's all for your benefit hope <sighs> they'll like it once they're eating it so there we go we've got all this space i can walk on them because they're uh, quite strong we've got some spare pallets there to do that corner and there's hope she is making sure everything's done correctly and kicking the wall at the same time so I think if we stack from that side across and the back and then come forward so that it's as far away from here as possible and so this is a munching outlet here nom, 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 nom. and I tell you what if she gets hold of any of this she will eat the lot yeah she's currently trying to climb over this to get in here 
so that's another thing so that's another reason why i've got to completely top off this area because i tell you what the thing she's climbed over in her lifetime she climbs over gates she climbs over barriers anything she'll climb it so anna and chris are coming today not tomorrow and they're on their way now oh so glad that i went on the hunt for top for uh pallets i went to say tops then got tops on the brain gosh this is a big hill good angle Now that is a lot of high. I'd have had some antihistamines if I knew we were doing it. But well, you gave me like an hour's notice from work. <laughs> I wish I had that idea. <laughs> if you were allergic to hay, you wouldn't have married this beautiful woman. You would never have met her. And now we know why you got married. Yeah. <laughs> Is someone going in the shed and stacking? Do you know how to stack? Do you know how to stack? Is it like a special way to stack them, Chris? Just cross them, so all one way. All one way, isn't it? See, pull them the opposite way. Basically, all you want to do.
So upright, upright, upright. Stack, stack, tie, tie. Okay. <laughs> So, right then, so we've got them all in. Well, it's another, how many there? 10? Yeah, it's about another 10 to come in because, as you can see, they are eating the hay from behind me through the gap. We're going to use some pallet tops and just stand them on the top of these hay bales that I've just stuck there and then. Just tie them on with baling twine or something, just temporarily, so they can't get their heads through anymore. Um, yeah, bring it. I'll get I'll just shred your legs. Yep. Yeah. Which way do you need them? Just legs, ways. You reckon? Yeah, what do you think? Because they can't get their heads over the top of that. You're a princess. Hey, you're my princess. A naughty one, naughty princess. This is like her worst nightmare, Simon. Some more bales up against that twelve that you yeah. It won't move really. Oh gosh, it's hot in here. So hopefully that will be able to speak in a minute. Hopefully that will stop them putting their heads through. Chris, you owe me a bale. <laughs> um, 99 bales. Oh my gosh. And we've still got to get all that rug work out, but that is going to be tomorrow's job. So, Robux, thank you for watching another one of our vlogs. I'm going to let the horses out now. See you next time.